conscious endeavors. Today we're going to talk about the mirror. Everyone in your reality is a mirrored reflection of you. Whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not. Meaning that everything, every reflection that you see from the other person is a mirrored reflection of you. And you can use this reflection so you can learn and so you can grow. Okay? For instance, let me explain myself a little bit better. If you're criticizing and if you judge other people, you criticize and you judge yourself. Take a look at the mirrored reflection. If you hate people, you really hate yourself. Take a look at the mirrored reflection. You could bounce this reflection off of everyone in your reality, and every time you get triggered or that person gets triggered, that trigger also resides within you. This is also Eckhart Tolle material and Ralph Smart, etc. A lot of people say this, not just me. All of your triggers are also within you. Okay? For instance, let me give you an example of me. One of my triggers is respect. I like respecting people. I like giving respect to people who I think deserve it. And I like people respecting me. But if people don't know me or who I am and they disrespect me, this is a trigger for me. So what does that mean? Maybe I have to respect other people more. Right? Does that make sense? I hope it's clicking now. If you hate people, you don't really hate people. You hate yourself. Okay? You see the mirrored reflection bouncing outward to others, if this makes sense. That's why they say you shouldn't judge and criticize others. Okay? And eh, we all do it. Uh, maybe sometimes we do it for fun, sometimes we do it out of anger. Sometimes we do it and we don't even know we're doing it. It's just as a subconscious program. If we see someone that's not like us, if we see someone different, all of a sudden, subconsciously, our mind wants to go to, well, hey, separation. The separation is a nefarious agenda, by the way. The elites and the globalists throughout time, throughout history, had a perfect formula to separate the masses of people. And that formula is separate, divide, and then conquer. And then this is where you see things like Antifa, BLM, and all this other garbage. People think that these are movements to help one side or the other, but the reality is, is there are globalists and elite people who have a lot of money not naming any names, but if you do your homework, you'll find out. One starting with the last name C, and one starting with the last name S. George S. H. C. Those organizations, the elites, funded criminal activity to turn the people against each other. This is what's happening in our reality. And they want to show everyone to be against every, each other. They want to put this in our reality, so they want to separate us, they want to divide us, and they want to conquer us, us. There should be no such thing as prejudice or racism ever. And I'm the one person that always said all lives matter. Because they really do. Not just humans, but animals and everything alive living on planet Earth. Everything matters, not just one side or one group. Okay? And no, I'm not watering it anything down for anyone. Everything that matters, everything that has life, you should respect. You should respect all life. Now, this is what I learned in my meditation course when I went away to Pecatonica, Illinois, for my 10-day meditation course. 
I got a little crash course in Vipassana meditation and I learned to respect not only myself while I was in there, but I learned to respect animals and all living things. So, I know it's kind of convoluted because we eat plants and we eat animals, right? That's another episode. The murder planet episode. That'll be that'll come later. So pay attention to the mirrored reflection and don't let anybody try to make you think that you're wrong or that you should be against someone else. It's not about going against people because as much as everyone hates each other now, <laughs> we have to unify and come together and be peaceful. And just because you're not 100% into someone's agenda, just make sure you don't try to judge, criticize, and put that person down because their prerogative is their own and yours is your own. And perceptions are assholes. Everyone has one. Perceptions are like assholes. Everyone has one, just like opinions. So pay attention very carefully because there's not supposed to be such thing as a racism and there's never supposed to be any prejudice ever. And the people on top who run the show, they want to separate us on purpose for conquering reason. So pay attention to the mirrored reflection, okay? Don't let anybody make you think or feel bad. And just because somebody disagrees with you, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means that they're working from a trigger inside. So there's a lot of separation happening. There's a lot of fighting, arguing, da, 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 da. And that's why I bring up this topic of the separation, divide and conquer, and with the conspiracy theories and whatnot. I just spoke to a friend of mine um, on the phone that, who I haven't talked to in a while, and we talked uh, briefly about this too, about the separation, the division, the conquering, and all the garbage that's going around and happening uh, in, in this reality, um, and all of the, um, um, basically all of the um, false agendas that are being um, rolled out right now so let's go back to the mirror look at the mirror if somebody's mad at you because of the way that you look or the way that you talk it doesn't mean that you should get mad back at them really they're just working from a trigger from a wounded inside it's an unhealed wound most people are working from unhealed wounds this is the situation nowadays a lot of people fight argue yell or scream at each other because they think that there's always someone against them. We've all been there too. We all have to learn and grow from this. No one is exempt of it. This place is a school, Earth. This planet is a school. We're just here to learn and grow. And I think this is extremely important, extremely vital information. I think that this could really change the way that you view things and if you try observation no reaction if you try to observe the situation and not react sometimes a negative situation can be turned into a positive situation observation no reaction i'm not perfect i make i mess up i make mistakes and i snap and i, I get upset too just like everyone else but these are just, just like every day, it's like an alcoholic. Every day is a working struggle. It's a battle. It's a recovering alcoholic. Every day is a battle. Every day is the struggle. And we're working every day to work on ourselves and work on others. Don't worry about, don't worry about others. The main thing you got to do is work on yourself. That's the best advice I could give. Pay attention to the mirrored reflection. Go within, look inside yourself. And then you'll be able to see the mirror. Conscious endeavors. Have a good day.